In this video, we're going to demonstrate the slump test. The slump is a special test which can be used to highlight if the client is suffering from neural tension or muscular tension traveling from the spine and down into the lower limb. This test can be completed in stages and as you pass through the stages of the test, you're constantly asking for feedback from the client about the symptoms that they may be experiencing. And as with most tests, we would um, test the client's good side or the non-injured side compared to the bad or the injured side. Okay, so the first stage um, of the test involves the client taking their hands or internally rotating their arms and placing their hands behind the back of the body. Okay, so she's internally rotating slightly at the shoulder joint and the elbows should be in a slightly softened position so the client's not pressing into those hands. The next stage from there, we're gonna ask the client to tuck the chin into the chest and then we would ask them to either slump or to slouch down into the back. Some people might not realize what we mean by um, slumping, but most people know that if we're asking them to slouch, it means they're depressing or they're, they're depressing the back or they are rounding the back. Okay, at this stage, we just ask the client for some feedback just to see whether even in this position that's increasing any symptoms that they may be experiencing, such as pain in the back or um, neural sensations. If the client is okay at this stage, we would then continue to um, perform what we refer to as overpressure. So I'm going to place my elbow into the top of the client's back here and I'm going to just loosely place my fingers onto the head. So from here what I'm doing is I'm just gently um, encouraging a little bit more movement as the client is tucking the chin into the chest. Um, we'd again ask for any feedback here. Can you um, feel any sensations? If the client is okay, then we would continue on to the next stage. If they were feeling any symptoms at this stage, what we would then do is just take the hand away and just ask the client to look forward. So they're literally moving the head and looking forward. And then we're seeing whether those symptoms reduce or stay the same. So in this instance, the client is happy, so we'll continue with the test. So if we take that chin back into there, that's it. And I'm going to continue with that slight overpressure onto the head. Now from here, I'm going to ask the client to extend their knee, okay, or straighten the leg. Again, we would ask to see whether that increases any neural symptoms. And if they're fine, we would then move on to that next stage, which is dorsiflexion of the ankle. Okay, again, at this stage, if that increased symptoms, um, then we would lift the head back up to see whether those symptoms reduce. If the client is happy, then we would move on to the next stage, which involves a little bit of overpressure there in that dorsiflexion movement. So we just hold that slightly. And then from here, I'm just going to release the head and ask the client to look forward. Excellent. So if when the client looks forward, the symptoms say the same, that would mean that they're suffering from muscular related tension. If when the client looks forward, then those symptoms reduce, then that's going to highlight that the um, tension may be more neural based. So when the client looks up, that is actually reducing the stretch on the neural column. Whereas um, if the symptoms stay the same, the muscular system is still in that same stretch position. So that would indicate that they're suffering more from muscular related tension. Okay, so as we mentioned, we would do both sides of the body. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate those um, steps on the other side of the body. So on this side, the client still has the hands in, turn, in uh, that relaxed position. So the shoulders are in internal rotation and the elbows are slightly soft. So they're not pressing into those hands. Then from here, we're gonna get the client to tuck the chin into the chest. The client then slouches or slumps the vertebral column. And then from here, we're going to apply that slight overpressure. Okay, so we're not pushing down into the head, we're just encouraging slight more movement there. Okay, so maintaining that pressure, the client is then going to extend the knee 
And then as long as there's no symptoms being increased here, the client is then going to move into dorsiflexion. Perfect. And again, asking for feedback from the client, if they're fine, then from here, we're going to do that slight over pressure. And then our final stage, the client is going to look forward. And then we're just going to find out whether those symptoms reduce. So if the symptoms reduce with the head lifted, that suggests that it's more neural tension. And if the symptoms stay the same with the head lifted, then that suggests that it's more muscular related tension. Because in this position, the muscle is still in that lengthened position. Okay, so that was our slump special test and moving through those stages on both sides of the body.